today the topic of discussion is SQL cross join or Cartesian product both are same thing okay so let's understand what is cross product or cross join or Cartesian product okay cross join or Cartesian product uh, to understand how SQL processes are joined it is important to understand the concept of Cartesian product so what this statement wants to tell you is that if you want to understand join then it is important to understand Cartesian product that is if you want to understand to understand how SQL join how SQL processes are joined It is important to understand the concept of Cartesian product So you can say that Cartesian product or cross join is prerequisites of join. Okay, fine then a Query that list multiple table in from clause a query that list multiple table in from clause means it's a kind of query where there exist more than one table in after from so in a, in a simple query is what you have written select star from then table name then table name here after from you have only one table now in cross join you have more than one table so this is what it's trying to tell you a query that list multiple table in from clause now the important part is that without where clause so there will be no where clause there will be only from clause and after from there will be many table more than one table but there will be no where clause produces all possible combination of rows of all table so what does it produce it produces all the combinations all the combination means means first row of first table will combine with all the row of second table second row of first table will combine with all the row of second table okay so this result is called cartesian product or cross join so the result which you get after this multiple combination is called cartesian product or cross join let's understand the query the query says select star from table one comma table two so what it's trying to tell you that it is doing a cross product it's doing a cartesian product between two table so what you need to put is only comma only comma okay fine or another way is select star from table one that is first table name and then put explicitly cross join then table two so this is the query of cartesian product or cross join let understand here we have two tables one table is table one another table is table two table one has two column x and a table two also has two columns x and b table one has three rows table two also has three rows now what cross join will do is that it will make a combination of its first row with all the row with all the row of second table okay then i'll pick second row and it will have combination with all the row of second table then i'll pick third row of first table then it will have all the combination with all the rows of the table so if you want to see how see how this that is first row of first table is making a combination with first row of second table so the result you are getting is x a that is first two column r of table one and next two column r of table two that is one a that is first row value of first table is having a combination with first row value of second table now what will happen the same first row value of first table will have combination with second row of second table okay then again same first row of first table will have combination with second table this is what 1a and 5b says now what happened now you will second select the second row of first table will have combination with first row of second table okay then you have 4d of first first row of first table and then 2x that is first row of second table similarly this then this after that what i do i'll select the third row of my first table with first row of second table similarly you get 2b and 2x and then this and then this so what exactly is happening is this and that is the first row is having a combination with all the three rows then second row is having combination with all the three rows and the third row is having combination with all the three rows of second table fine so what happened actually that is table one has three rows table two has three rows and the result set you have nine rows so finally what you are understanding is that if a table has four rows first table has four rows and second table has three rows then the resultant table will have 
12 rows but in our example first table has three rows second table has three rows so we get nine rows as the result okay so these things are all theoretical let me run this query for you of Cartesian product so we'll, you will understand each and everything very clearly okay so let me show you my Oracle 10G environment let's see this is Oracle 10G environment and let me show you some tables okay uh, uh, I'm having first table as a student you can see the first table is one two and four the first table is uh, of Parul Gaziabad and two is Garima and four is Vijay Okay, then second table I'm having is of course. Second table I'm having is of course. Okay, this course is what? Course, course name have two, two columns, course number and course name. So what exactly is uh, the thing that course number can, has course numbers 14, 15 and 16 and uh, course name has MCA, C is for civil engineering and M is for mechanical engineering. What I'm doing is I'm taking the cross product of what cross product of above two table student and course. What I do, I'll simply select, I'll write S E L E C T select star form star from table one. Table one is student S T U D E N T comma. In order to get a cross join, you simply put comma course C O U R S E. That's fine. Select star form student comma course that's fine and see the result you are getting the nine rows you are getting the nine rows okay 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 let me show you our first table has three rows our second table has three rows resultant you are getting are nine rows fine you are getting nine rows okay first table has three columns role name address and second table has two columns c number and c name and finally the result you are getting the five columns fine so this is a cross product or cross join or you can simply do is what i show you very something very good is that instead of comma you can also write cross join and hope you can understand that one parol gaziabad glgzb address is combining with 14 then one parol gaziabad is combining with 15 one parul gaziabad is combining with 16 okay then two garma noida is combining with 14 15 16 that is the same row of first table is combining with different rows of second table fine or in place of comma you can put cross join c r o s s cross j o i n you will get the same result you will get the same result fine see this you will get the same result finally you get the same result either you put comma or you put cross join you get the same result so again what i'll say that i always say what i say what i always say i always say after explaining everything is what thank you so much